staat het mij misschien wel vrij om iets van mijn briljante vrijheid, het wederzijds goed vinden natuurlijk, tijdelijk of voor langere duur af te staan, om jou van mijn verstikkende vrijheid te bevrijden. When I wrote a poem, it just came by itself. I was thinking actually of my parents' situation more, more than Holland, because I don't know about that. I grew up with my my parents um, telling me about the war in Indonesia, and you know, with the Japanese and the time in the Japanese camps. My father is a, a prisoner of war. My father was a great storyteller, and but he never really told the stories that came later when I was older, and that I asked for. And um, then I realized much more because, of course, you can recognize, especially my mother, I could recognize that lots of her behavior was um, came from the Japanese camps because she was there when she was 12 in the camps and came out when she was 16. Then right after that, there was the Indonesian Revolution, so it was a life full of fear for the Dutch people. My parents were both uh, are both mixed, and that means that they are uh, European and and um, Indonesian both you know all different e european countries as well as all different indonesian countries are in them in their genes and um so but they had a dutch nationality and so when they were liberated actually life wasn't easier because of the revolution time and also very confusing because at one hand they had this especially my father had very strong ties with indonesia my mother a little bit less because she had more colonial education, but my father always lived in the kampung. When I wrote my first novel, uh, the response was very strong. It was immediately a bestseller. And, uh, but before that, people tried to stop me from publishing it. They said, you will ruin your career if you write something about your background. You know, you better, you, you're a good writer, so, you know, don't waste your career by writing about your particular background. Because yeah, you were, they push you in a corner. But then the, the book was uh, what, 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 what they wrote, the journalists, Dutch journalists, they wrote, that's an eye-opener. And uh, so you had the, the, the people who were in incredibly happy with it. You know. So it was recognizable for a lot of people and it wasn't important that it is actually, you know, when you're looking for identity, it's not just only the, the mixed people who do that. Only using my background, I could visualize uh, something. And but I got a lot of I got I received like twenty letters a day from um, Indo people, but there were also a group of people who uh, were making trying to make fun of me, so that you know it was not important to be Indo. Funny thing is the ones with the big mouths, you know, one columnist for example, uh, lately in the last five seven years he's only writing about his mixed background, and then he was making fun of me. And there are, some, there are some more people who made fun of me at the time, in 1983, but now they are trying to make a, a living out of the background. So I think every person one day, he has to face it, you know, you cannot walk away. And at the time I thought, well, if you try to deny, ignore your background, you know, do it, you know, but don't blame me for opening up because I wasn't busy trying to find my own identity because if you do that, you can't write about it. You first have to find out and then you can write about it and uh, I thought well I I was a psychologist and uh, I had help from being a psychologist to find um, peace and balance in, in me with with all the differences and um, I didn't even have time to have a problem because I wrote one book, book after another and I was making films so and successfully so you know it wasn't a problem I was traveling so, but um, what I noticed and that I didn't like is that, you know, whatever I made, there were always, you know, the press now, they knew how to um, put me in that certain corner. It was always my identity search. So they were right when they warned me that when once you do that, you know, they, they put this stamp on you. Like, you know, before I had the stamp being Indo and then I had the stamp being uh, searching for my identity. I don't think I ever lose that. It's interesting that people always uh, like to uh, label you and um, the good thing is that I don't care because I know that my book still is, you know, helping people. Still women come to me and men too actually, 
more and more men also and also third generation men lately uh, I was uh, signing books that was a boy and uh, he could hardly speak out of you know motion and he said that my book helped him so much so I can help other people by writing a novel that help them can help them because of my two professions together so that's why I wanted to write a novel